I truly think that he wasn't just a pirate. I think that he was also a revolutionary. To like, comment, subscribe, and share this with a couple friends. Yeah, it's your boy, Young Usapu. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's, it's your boy, Young Usapu. And I'm back again for another video. Listen, and this video yo. is about Rox D. Zabek. I truly think that he wasn't just a pirate, I think that he was also a revolutionary. I say this because it seems like Dragon is so infamous because he is opposing the world government. Now I think that Rox did the same thing, which is why he got erased from all of history. Just think about it, it doesn't seem like Dragon is fa infamous for being violent, he's infamous for opposing the world government. Now I have two thoughts of Rox D's effect. What if he was an extremist revolutionary, which is why Roger had to team up with Garp during the God Valley incident? Or what if he was just a regular revolutionary that was going against how Garp and Roger thought? As we know, it said that he was there to get the Celestial Dragons. But what if that isn't entirely true? And also, just think about it. Roxy Zebek was Roger's most powerful foe in the way of his goal, right? So just think about it like this. Maybe he was a Yonko in that time period, which is why he was so strong and why Roger and Garth had to team up just to defeat him. Just as Luffy, Kid, and Law teamed up to, the, to fight Kaido and Big Mom. Garp and Roger did the exact same thing. I've been pondering on the idea that God Valley was probably not even a place where the Celestial Dragons lived, but it could have been a place that all races that were wanted by the world government lived. So let's say maybe that's where the Three-Eyed Tribe were at, that's where the Oni race lived at, that's where the Lunarians lived at, the remainder of them, right? The previous gods of the world. As we know, King's race was known as gods of the world. They lived on top of the red line. Maybe these were all races that lived on top of the red line previously and got kicked out by the Celestial Dragons. Hence the name, God Valley. Doesn't seem like the world government makes the names for these islands, but the people that inhabit them do. Just think about it, Enel called himself a god in Skypea. He thought of himself as a god. And he is a person that sought to go to the moon, a place where his race might have been from, which we're seeing with these cover stories that he's been in. I believe he knew to go there because he might have a family member that told him of his people's history and where they originally came from, which is why the Celestial Dragons try to have the attire as if they can't breathe the oxygen of this world, as if they are women and men of the moon. No Kid Cudi reference. Just think about it. We don't know where Anel actually lived before he got to Skypea. All we know is that he was told that he was a god, which is why he had this god-like complex to him. So we know that King's Race didn't li originally live on God Valley, but we know that they lived on the Red Line where the Celestial Dragons live, right? So what if this was the place that everybody fled to after the war during the Void Century? And it was actually the island of the D clan, the ones that ruled the world entirely, which is why they say that Joy Boy was the leader of the Void Century and the leader of the Ancient Kingdom. I believe that before Rox got to this island, before he made noise on it and started wreaking havoc, probably, the world government didn't even know where this island was and they were probably searching for it for ages, which is why I believe once Garp set foot on the island, Amu set his sights on it with whatever weapon he used to destroy Lulu Pichu Island during chapter 1060. But it seems like they need the coordinates to actually use the weapon. He pointed at the area on the map and that's when the weapon fired off. So once Garp reported that he was on some mysterious island, gave the co coordinates of where they were at, that's when the weapon went off on the island and M seems to hold grudges so I wouldn't put that past him. So Rox D. Zebek, was he evil or not young Usopp? I honestly can't tell you because the Marines just the Marines in the world government twist stories of pirates all the time and they make it seem like they are always the bad guys and not the good ones that they are played out to be. For instance they make Luffy and the Straw Hats all look like monsters when in fact they are nowhere near that. They're good people and they help the people around them. 
I believe that Rox was not as bad as a person as the world government may make him out to be. He was strong, yes. He was powerful, yes. But he acquired Whitebeard, Big Mom, Shiki, Captain John, and many more from a Davy backfight. It seems as if Rox might have been someone who enjoyed games and fun. As we saw with the Davy backfight with the Foxy Pirates, the Davy backfight is about playing games and having fun, but also acquiring members by those means only, not violence. I believe this was Oda's foreshadowing of how the Rox Pirates crew came about. So this might be a Hail Mary throw, but listen, God Valley, Gold Roger, Gold D Roger, his true name. What about Go D Valley? See anything similar with this? I believe that the world government changed the name of the island, which is why it was never heard of again. We don't know what happened on the island, but I do have a few thoughts about Rox himself. I believe that he was not a pirate, but in fact, he was a revolutionary. As we see with Dragon, his crew of revolutionaries are just like a pirate crew, just with a different agenda. I believe that Rox was at God Valley with the agenda to find the world's secrets and make his way to becoming the king of the world. As we know, Dragon is one of the world's most infamous criminals, not because he is violent towards towns, but because he's against the world government, which is why I believe Rox's name cannot be found and why it was erased off the planet entirely. We have not seen or heard bad things of Rox, but I believe once we get the flashback of when he was a pirate, we will see exactly how Rox truly was and what caused this man known as Rox to be erased from history, just like the Void Century. We don't even know what he looks like. We only get a silhouette of him. Imagine he's, a, he's of a race that we've never seen or a race that we've only seen very few of. But we'll have to see once we get that flashback, once we get the true history of what happened on that island that day. Maybe Garp will open up about it to Luffy. Maybe Kaido will come back and tell him exactly what he's missing out on. Maybe Big Mom will have a flashback in Elbaf, or even if she's even still alive. But that'll be another video. Listen. It's your boy, Young Usopp. I appreciate you all for watching the video. I thank you for clicking on the video. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content, just make sure you leave a like, leave a comment of what you want to see next, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your friends. It's Young Usopp, Usopp and I'll be back, back again. again.